marketing journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for TFNN. Sorry I was late uh, to the party here. I was trying to get hooked up to Skype, and I couldn't. For some reason, it disappeared off my program. This is a current trade, folks. Uh, we, we were waiting for this for quite a while. We sold the gold today at 25.35. And what's interesting, let's just take a quick look here, because when you take a look at this, after we sold that, it had a $2,000 profit in it, and... It was coming in, guess where, at a perfect A, B, C, D pattern right here, okay? And if you go back just a little bit and check what this low was right here, I'll bring this up and show you what that ratio was. And little Johnny's got his placard up, and there's the old 382 spot on right there. Well, it's a little off by here, but that's where it was. I'll tell you, I was chatting with Tom Hugard this morning, and I wanted to get this up here and show you uh, some of the things that we were talking about, the 382 pattern. These were the ones that were in play today. There's the S&P today. There's where we were last night. We made a new high today now. Uh, there was our 382 this morning from the low we made right back here on the 15th. And there she was right there, 32. What does it do? It rallies 40 handles. Not a bad idea. Here is one is uh, still working uh, quite nicely, actually. This is the Japanese yen. There is where we were yesterday. Now, this was a four-hour chart. It stayed there for, gee, well over five hours at that level of 149, 39, 140, 149, 40, and now it's backed off considerably. It's, it's broken down even more since early this morning, so you would be a break-even trade. Uh, if you were doing that one, okay? And then finally, I have to show you th this one. I have to show you silver two different ways. First of all, this is the one I printed out for Tom early this morning because there was our 382 retracement here this morning, just like the, these others were hitting. This is pretty much exactly spot on. And remember, this took a whole day to get there, so it was right on the money. I have to show you something characteristic about this silver chart but there was our uh, pattern right here at 28.89 and so what we're going to do now what we're going to do now is we're going to come up here and grab this for just a second here and we're going to look at the hello operator where are we at here there's what we want to see this was really exciting folks because i was watching this this morning because you know we thought oh my gosh it made it i just realized that there it is right now the high was 890, and that was supposed to be it. It's already backed, backed off 17 cents. Whether that means anything or not, I don't know. But here's what I want you to see. This was the AI program. This is where, where you see these inversions. Look at this, folks. You see when that happens like that? I mean, there was something bi really big happening there. But, you know, I didn't know whether it was going to be a high or a low. But look, when it, when it takes off like that, that, that's what happened in the S&P yesterday when it went about 505. And that's exactly what happened. He had that big move. And, of course, this is backed off. Uh, just a little bit here today. Okay, now let's move on to a couple others that we need to talk about here. One very, very important message we got from our good friend, Mr. John Jameson, about two and a half hours ago. This is the chart of the NASDAQ, folks, over the last uh, five days, I think. That's correct. And look, we made a perfect two standard deviation move here. You can see here, uh, we hit it, and we've come back. We almost made a new high. Now, the S&P has taken this high out by just a heartbeat, and so has the uh, Dow Jones. Now, the Dow Jones one is very interesting, so we'll get this up here. So let the boys and girls see what we're watching here, because sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. That's the Japanese yen, Larry. It's spelled a little differently than the Dow Jones, but here's the Dow Jones. I want to get this up here. For show you for two reasons here. This is what we were looking at here today. We had an ABCD pattern here. The old high was right up there at this level right here. But, but if you look at the daily, look what it just hit, folks. 4809, and that's where it's trading right now. 4809, the high of the day has been 48. 
uh, 44. So it's uh, a few pips uh, right on the money. For what it's worth, you know, I don't know. Let's look at it quickly on a four hour. There might be an A, B, C, D there, but I frankly don't know. No, you don't see anything there. It's just moving up higher. We are setting uh, on the on this. This is the uh, four hour chart. We're setting at the 78 percent level, folks, of this uh, of this big move. That's what we just showed you on the daily. That was this move right here. That's off the high that we made, you know, right back there. So. Uh, that's that's where we're standing. Anyway, anyway, we'll see if it works or not. It's like anything else. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. We'll just put this over here and get this out of the way. Let's see if, let's see if this made a 382 today. I don't think that it did, but wouldn't be surprised. There's our high, and uh, no, it didn't even didn't even make a 382. But we'll find out about these other things later. Okay, now let's get up here. We did have a couple neat little ABCDs here that I want to show you. If you like ABCDs, guess what? I'm going to show them to him if you don't like them. Here's the NASDAQ. There's where we were, and we just completed it. Let's look at it together. Now, this is a really tradable one because it's 13 minutes, and this is what we like to see. Let's just do it mathematically. We have a low here and a high here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to draw in the little pattern. There's A, B equals CD right up in here and the number came up here at uh, 43 the high was 53 so now let's see how many 13 minute bars it took to see if this was a perfect one because it has some real good symmetry there's from your low I don't know which low is the lowest let me double check 4850 yeah, 40, this is the lower low so it rallied oh I see it's going to be off by a little bit this rallied for 6 13 minute bars which is a little over an hour and if you move it over here, you'll see here it rallied up into this area here, right when the target was hitting there, actually. And, of course, it went a little bit higher, but that's uh, that's the way it works sometimes, folks. Let's just move this over to see where we were from the high we made last night. We made that one. This what I was, <laughs> I was following this with Tom last night uh, during this hours when he's over in Spain. And uh, I was just, you know, going through these numbers. And look at this high that we had up in here. And it, it dropped, uh, you know, a really, you know, humongous amount. And now we've, you know, sort of rallied back. But we are two standard deviations in the program, folks. The last time we were there, ta-da, was here. There was two standard deviations right there. Let's just draw that in. There's your ABCD leg. There's your CD leg right there. And that's the last time we were at two standard deviations. And there's the 618 on the movie. You see, we're substantially above that, but we are setting at two standard deviations. Have we taken out the high of early August? No, we have not. That comes in at 97.17. And we have, we were quite, we're 50 more than 50 handles away from that level as we're uh, paying very close attention to it. Okay, now we've got a break coming up. Let me double check the old uh, fly on the wall here. 54 seconds. That means we've got a chance to look at Apple. And I'm sure it's running to the moon like everything else. And we'll see it here. Just a second. APP Apple right here. There's Apple right there. And it is taking off, folks, up to 26. Boy, it's shut. Oh, this is good. Those of you that are in Apple making some serious money here, there was the the ABCD in here, and of course it gapped up, and it's still going, so don't want to stand in front of that freight train, do we? And I don't. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. 
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, this is the Russell, and it's completing, it looks like, a 10-day rally. There's day 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Last time we had a 10-day rally was back here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8-day rally here. This one was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10-day rally, and we're right at this number right here. Looking at this on the hourly chart, I believe, you can see we took out all those stops early this morning. We backed off. Uh, let's see if that backed off exactly to the 382 this morning. From there low up to your high that you made right in here. No, didn't even come close, but we're rallying back right now. But this on the uh, on this four-hour chart uh, still has some pretty strong resistance there. There was your 1.618 expansion here this morning at 121.65. Now, getting above that, that will be, you know, sharply, sharply higher, I would guess. And we can certainly, we can certainly go up. Now, looking at this on a, on the four, four hour chart, let's see how long the cycle lasted from the last part. We went from this low right here up to this right here. This is the timing stuff that we look at when we're doing programs, you know, to try to pick symmetry is what we're looking for. So there's your low to your high. We're seeing it right here. Now, all we're going to do that now is move it, move it over here to the low to the high. And you can see that came in. Uh, right here on this high and then this is a secondary high up in here so it's not doesn't have too much symmetry in it we do have you know the ABCDs as you can see here and this is what's really important is this 2165 because if you close above that you know it's like anything else they're, they're all going higher so you don't want to stand in front of it that's a uh, that's the bottom line of uh, you know what we're what we're paying attention to here now, I just wanted to get over here and talk just a tiny bit more here about this uh, Japanese yen trade because you can see here we had the pretty big move here we've dropped more than a, a solid point in here that's more than a a thousand dollars in here but it stayed here folks for well over six or seven hours uh, quite quite a bit more than that actually because it's a two, 240 chart and now we're starting to move to the downside whether that has any effect on the other markets or not I heck I have no no clue at all and it I don't even try to think about that because I don't know what that means so that's what we're looking at right here. We'll get this out of the way here and we'll clean this up a little bit so I can see what we have to see. I have one question here. Oh, where did I put that darn thing? Oh, son of a gun. It'll get here in just a second here. Okay. All right. Did we make new highs in the uh, 
S&P, yes, we did. We did take the high out by a little bit last night. There was a high here, which was at uh, 83. We got a high as today as uh, 86. We're trading at 82 right now. Not too much, uh, not too much happening um, with that. And then what else we have going on? I think that's pretty much what I wanted to cover from all the things that I was looking at. So let's move over to see where we are if anything. Oh, the, boy, this was the beauty too. Son of a gun. We sent this out in the video last night. Uh, I think it was last night. No, maybe it might have been. Or it was early this morning. Excuse me. It was early this morning. Here's where we were in the crude oil. We came right down to this level right here. And I said, look, I said, wait for a little pullback. You got it right here. So you bought it right near the low. So your stop would be right here about 75, breaking even. Uh, the low has been 74.53. We had a little bit of a move here in the last few hours, but nothing to write home about. There was the pullback that I suggested buying right here, which was at uh, 7506, um, and it's trading at 7545 right now with a small profit. So your stop would be break even now at 7506 had you done that trade. It's hard to buy it when it's coming straight down here. You know, here is your 4191. If you bought it there, you know, you were setting with a $400 loss at one time. This way, your loss was mitigated a little bit because you waited for the little bit of a pullback. Now, sometimes you don't get the pullback, but that's like everything else. Sometimes it's chocolate mil milkshakes. Other times it's strawberry milkshakes. No one ever knows what that's going to be. By the way, we have Norm Winsky on the line today at our number. Let's give a little hats off to Mr. Winsky because on August the 5th, the last time he was here, he said we're probably making a pretty good bottom here in the stock market. And by golly, guess what? We were bottoming right about that time. So hats off to Norman on his call on that. Let's see what he has for us today. It's like the restaurant business. You don't have a good meal, folks. You're not going to be around much longer. So that's uh, pretty much what we're watching here. Uh, interesting now, and let's take a quick look here at this silver market. I noticed that we went up and uh, backed off just a little bit. But, you know, like I say, that was, you know, virtually nothing. We backed off how many how many cents? Uh, well, that's a pretty big back. Well, it's 15 cents, but that's not too much. But there's a number right up in here. Looking at this on the long-term daily, well, Double check it again. There's well, it takes the four hour to do it because it it's got all those different patterns in it. So let's look at it where we are. Yeah, there it is, 28.90, and the high has been uh, 28.89. So it's in the ballpark here where we should. We're completing what we're doing on this, folks. Is we're completing this larger ABCD pattern that we've been waiting for for a very long time. And this morning's move was really exciting because. That was right at the 382 here, and then boom, away it went, and it, it just took off like a rocket from that level, and I'll get that up here so we can, uh, you don't get to see it unless you pull all this stuff. There you go. You got to go show you the old highs back here, and there's your action today, and all we were watching, I believe this is the one that it's on. Yeah, there it is right there. There was, and also nice little ABCD right there, 07 and well, that 80 cents and boy, that look at backs off one more time and boom, that's a strong market. Holy moly, guacamole! That's going to be real interesting. All right, now let's check on something else that we want to be watching, which is uh, let me make sure. Let's well, someone's asked a question about the soybeans. Oh my goodness, I haven't looked at them for a couple days because there's too much action going on and everything else. And where are the beans at? They start with S, X right in here. There's the hourly chart. Uh, we had a riot, or a riot. We had a rally that lasted about a minute and a half today, not doing much. Well, let's look at this on a little bit smaller time frame so we can see what anything was happening here. Okay. Oh, oh, we had some type of a rally this morning. Now let's see if it was a 382 off of this high right back here. Holy moly! Put up the placard, Johnny. You've got a ring that ring in that. Well, ring that one up for the old cowboys. Uh, it's only had uh, for 700 bucks in it, but it's never gave you any heat. So that's why it's pretty nice. Now, on a smaller time frame, uh-oh, we've got a caller coming in. How he ever got through, I have no idea, but let's see who this guy is. We have Jeff on, and uh, what can we do for you, Jeff? Uh, hi, Larry. Uh, I wanted to ask uh, if you had any insights uh, on the following. Okay. Um, you know, I trade your patterns, and I also yeah. trade some other patterns and other setups that aren't even patterns. Okay. And <clears throat> excuse me. And I find that sometimes, like now, <laughs> for the past 
couple of weeks. All these things are failing, uh, like more than usual, you know, and I'm going into a drawdown period. I'm doing everything the same. And, you know, I recognize there are times where you're going to get yeah. drawdowns. But my question is, like, how can this be happening to these totally independent uh, trading strategies have nothing to do with each other, and yet they're all like failing around the same time. It, you know, it's well. Like, makes I've no seen, sense. I, I haven't seen that using A B C D patterns, Jeff. I mean, I've been you know I I do this on my videos every day, and yeah, we've had a couple losers in here. You know, they um, what was it? We had something yesterday, but no. Stay with us, please. I want to cover this. Okay, okay? We, we'll be right after the. Cause it's important that we we talk about it because believe me, other people have the same problems you're having. It's okay. So okay. we'll be right back with Jeff, folks. Talk about trading psychology. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider funds investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks, we're talking with Jeff. Jeff, uh, let me ask you a couple quick questions here. How many, how many trades are you doing a day, and on what time frames are you looking? Uh, they're mostly uh, in the first half of the day, 
and I'm probably doing uh, maybe uh, three to six trades. Okay, that would be about the maximum. I wouldn't want. Uh... I wouldn't want to. I took my. By the way, those of you that are watching, I took the chart down because we have Norm coming up in just a minute. But if you'll do me a favor, Jeff, uh, just drop me your statistics in the email and show me which which of the trades were the regular pattern trades. You know, the ABCDs, one, three, fives, how they worked as a, composed to the other trades that you have. Because maybe I don't. I, I'm not. I don't have this concept of what you're doing so if you'll send me some examples because i've seen your examples and you know in the past they've worked pretty good so you just check with me by email and we'll we'll, we'll correspond that way i don't want to waste any time here on the tv show about it but every if you're having this problem there's probably somebody else that's having it too so if you'll do that for me we can get this done over the weekend uh okay i'll, I'll be in communication with you i thought maybe you were going to say something about the like the um like what you were showing the other day, like the basis of the market, the Fibonacci spiral and yeah. uh, sacred numbers and all that. And I thought, you know, maybe it's like the way the waves work and come together that you no. get periods where the market totally changes no. its you know, nature for the a period of time. It, it might change for a very short period of time, but nothing's new under the sun. This is all stuff that's happened over and over and over again. So. Yeah. It's not a problem. So, thanks and for calling in. Another strategy is you have oh, to keep, keep going. taking the trades, uh, so that when things turn around, yes. you'll be there to get right. your profits. To and that trade. that is hard to do, my friend. That is that is in fact yes. hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very frustrating. Okay. Okay. Well, thanks. Hey, I thanks don't for want to cut the time. Sure uh, thank you, Larry. Yeah, let's see if we can get Norm on the line here. We'll check with CFNN, see if we can, and then if not, I'm just going to have to. Uh, figured out uh, he's going to get it he'll get a norm up here in just a second and it'll be ready to go mr winsky is in the house norm are you there uh yes larry can you hear me okay i hear you okay the reason why uh i had a caller calling in and i was trying to answer his question so uh i wanted i told everybody you told us that august 5th there was going to be a big monster type day and uh you said something about today is a big day too is that correct uh, coming up this weekend, can I put my notes on the screen? Yeah, I think so. Go ahead and sh go ahead and Skype all in and do it. Yeah, that'd right. be great. Is, that, is Al not working today? Al is is Al not working? That means that the sun doesn't come up. Of course he's working. I don't just don't know where he is. He well, he I, might he might I have could, been out. He might have. Go ahead. I I couldn't find Al. <laughs> well, uh, you can't find Al. Why don't you just talk to us then, and we'll see when okay, Al comes up. Hopefully yeah. you hold can on. See there, my hold notes on. on the screen. Yeah. Uh, I'm we're sorry? Gonna be able, uh, okay, uh, he wants to post your charts now, Al, uh, Norman. <laughs> post your I charts now into Skype. Okay, um, should be up, I guess. I think we're up. We'll tell us right now whether we are or not. Everything's copacetic, my friend. Fire away. Norm Winsky great. is in the house. Thank you very much, Larry. So uh, I was last on your show on uh, a Friday, August the 2nd, and forecasting and telling you about what was coming up. That weekend was huge. We had four big things, and two things in particular. You and I uh, went down memory lane to the combination of the new moon and Mercury turning retrograde within 24 hours. One of those dates, and you kind of spurred me to do the research on it. I'd done a little bit of work on it, and you said, <laughs> you called me back afterwards and said, go do more. <laughs> and so I did about 10 that years. Sounds like worth. something I would say. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so one of the dates we didn't talk about it last time, but we oh we did talk about the uh, uh, May 18, 19 top, which was a high day in 2015. Uh, what we didn't mention was when I was doing that research, I stumbled on October the 11th of 2007. Yeah. That was another date in this series. And that was the high day in 07, which led to the big meltdown. Now, on Friday, the August the 2nd, the market was melting down. We were already going down. So in my methodology, if we're going down and we're coming into a change of trend window, you should be looking for a reversal. Therefore, I said, we're probably going to make a low on Monday. So now I'm going to review. You have to study these past patterns if you want to be able to forecast the future. These patterns, as you know, as you were just doing the past half hour, uh, yep. Going back and looking at the past patterns and extrapolating into the future. So there we go. So we had four things over that uh, August 2nd weekend. AC means after the close. 
And we had heliocentric, that's from the point of view of the sun. Mars changing signs, going to the sign of Taurus the bull, that's cal <coughs> excuse me, cattle and cotton. Then we had Jupiter to the U.S. natal chart for stocks, T-bonds, U.S. dollar. And we also had the new moon in the sign of Leo, financials, Grange, commercials, metals, and because the Leo will be looking at uh, golden corn and gold. And then also, you know, the moon and Mercury are usually big for the grains. And we had Mercury turning retrograde in Virgo for corn, soybeans is Virgo, mm -hmm. and wheat. Okay, so here's the chart. Uh, the corn was uh, confusing. So the yellow boxes mean you take a pass. We had three possible points there, but you got to have the right half the pick, half the deal is you got to have the right setup, as you know, Larry. If you don't have a good uh -huh. setup, take a pass. So you would agree with that, I think, right? Uh, yes, sir. I sure would. Yes, sir. So you can see we're kind of going sideways there on the corn. So we took a pass on those three points. The soybeans were a little better, and then you had a little bit of a trend there into the window. And so if you sold there, I think you, you would have caught a nice top there, and I think you would have been happy. Uh, here's the wheat. I had a rally into our window there for the uh, August 2nd weekend. We had two points there for the wheat, and you had a big down during the day there. You had it caught, about, you caught it 14, 16 cents, something like that, seven, eight hundred dollars a contract just that day. <clears throat> here's the cattle. This is pretty nice. Mars going into Taurus the Bull. You might think Taurus the Bull might have something to do with cattle, and Mars is said to be the energizer planet. And therefore, look what happened. It went right down into the weekend and made a low there. And you had a bit of a, and the uh, cattle uh, stampeded a little bit higher, you see. Uh, <laughs> cotton, cotton's going sideways. And so we do nothing there. Silver's chopping sideways, do nothing there. It was a, a several uh, sideways choppy market. Gold, unfortunately, was ch didn't give us a clue until it was too late going sideways. So we did nothing there. And then it had a huge drop that day. Here's the, but the, uh, the star of the show, obviously, was the S&P 500. We're going down, melting big time, down, down, down. I'm on your show here on, uh, over here on Friday. I think we had, yep. what was it, like a 200 handle gap down or something, something crazy down there. Yeah, right it there. Was, you, well, it's about an 80 handle. Which oh, was, it was 80 quite, handle. Quite a, I think, yeah, 80 handle. I think maybe from from here to there, it was hey, about 200 and some handles. Yeah, you know? it was. Hey, we got some bills to pay, but stay with us, Norm. This is the kind of stuff they like to hear, my friend. Because okay, if it works, great. we'll have you on again. Stay with us. We'll be right back okay. with Norm Winston. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. 
Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns. And his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. We're back with Norm Winsky, folks, and he is telling us about some of the things that are coming up over the weekend. And would you continue, Mr. Winsky? Okay, so when we left, we took our little break there. Uh, we were talking about the S&P 500. Uh, the 200 handles I had in mind were on Friday's close. You see, you read across here, you're at like 53.50 area, I think, 53. Yeah. 50, and then we opened, and we're down here like 51.50. I think that's about 200 handles. Anyway, you had a yeah. huge gap down, meltdown there over the weekend. And the yeah. opening, if you go look, I think the opening right here on the 5th, Oh, it doesn't show up there. Oh, in the futures. I think that futures bottom right on the opening there, pretty right. close to the opening. So if you bought there, you would have been pretty happy at Camper. You know, we had four. Oh, by the way, yeah. we had four points because all those points I showed you at the top there, uh, apply everything applies to the stock market. The commodities are narrow filters. But the stock market is a big basket of everything. There's a little bit of everything in the yeah. stock market. So therefore, all the planetary events could influence the stock market. See, so anyway, these all all of my charts, by the way, are as of last night. So that's why I don't have this updated as this moment, you know. But anyway, okay. uh, by the way, S and P. I think you mentioned this. Is that the uh, we're now at the seven seven eight six retracement or in that neighborhood? I think we. Yeah, poked we're in a the neighborhood. I think we poked a little bit over that. Is that right, Larry? Uh, just a couple points. Yes, we did. Uh -huh. Same thing in the Dow Jones. Think, we had a, a few points. I think yeah. I had 55.52 as the exact uh, retracement. Is that about right? 55.52? You're talking about the uh, SP, uh, SPY, right? Yeah, this cash. The cash yeah, in the, that's, that's exactly right. It's right it there right 50, now. I think it got the 55.61 roughly. So we uh, we might, uh, if we put go any higher, I would say it's probably headed back to the highs again, wouldn't you? Oh, no question about it. Yeah. Tell tell us what's happening over the weekend. Is, can I ask okay, a question? Let me just finish this real quick. There's okay. T-bonds. We had two points for the T-bonds. And you see you made a nice top there on the bonds. Uh, dollar was not so good because if you bought on the opening there, as I would have, uh, you know, what the usual methodology is, then you kind of got whacked in for a day there. So I put, got two misses there. Here I thought I'd throw in a couple of currencies. There's the British pound. Rally up. We made a, ni a nice top there on the pound. You made a nice top on the Swiss franc. Add up the green arrows, red arrows. You got 14 winners, two missiles out of 16 for 87.50 percent. Here's what's immediately coming up over uh, coming up on Monday. We have a full moon in Aquarius. Uh, so anytime we have full moon, new moon, financials range, precious metals, and because it's in Aquarius, I, I look at copper. And then we have Jupiter, 90 degrees of Saturn. And, of course, keep in mind that stocks are involved in all these. Uh, uh, that's uh, coffee and oil. And then we also have Jupiter to the U.S. chart the night of the 23rd. So you got three points there, two over coming up here like Monday. It should be a big day. Monday should be an important day. Might be the top of this rally we're, in the S&P we're having. And uh, that's pretty much it for today. 
here. You can get a hold of me. I'll give you, give you some free videos, free classes, answer your questions. I got about 50 years experience doing this. I'm a former Chicago floor trader, traded on the CBOE and the Chicago Board of Trade. And here's how you get a hold of me. Here's my contact info. Uh, can I ask a here. question? Sure. Is there a Venus Uranus aspect over the weekend? Uh, I'd have to look that up. Do you, do you know that there is? I don't know. That's why you're the astrologer. I thought you might know. Just do me well, a favor. I, don't have it all, I hate to tell I have, you. I know. I, don't I, have it I know. I don't Listen, have, do me a favor. If if you uh, find a Venus Uranus aspect, a major like a square conjunction opposition, drop me an email, would you please? I will do that. I'm looking yeah. at my stuff for the weekend now. I don't see any. Thing for this weekend, okay. I could be wrong. All right. Then, no, no, I, no. I don't you're have every, I don't often have everything wrong, but never in doubt. That's it. <laughs> That's it. All right. Anyway, hey, so listen. feel free to contact me, folks. I'm looking forward to helping you. So you can call me 239-594-3939 here in beautiful Naples, Florida. You can email me at nwinski yahoo.com, or you can call me on Skype for free all over the world. nwinski nwinski at yahoo.com. Uh, any any questions from the Tiger Stand nope. there, Larry? Did great, Norm. We'll see you soon, okay, my friend? All right. Thanks a lot. Have a great, everybody, have a great week. Great weekend. Okay. We'll be right back, folks. I'm going to get the screens up here so we can take a look. I wanted to go over a couple of currencies here. I think the screens are ready here. And as we look at this right now, where are we at here? It's about doing pretty much the same stuff as before. Okay, let's move over here and take a quick look here at the uh, – where is it? One? Ah, it's not here. Hold on a second. Someone asked about the wheat, and I want to make sure there, there's your Christmas wheat. Uh, we'll get this up here. Still going down, as I thought, and it had a small rally today. Well, I'll tell you, they're, they're beating up all of these grains so bad, folks. I don't think the poor farmers are going to be able to uh, – well, of course, they're going to make it. They hedge all their crops. So that's not a problem. But here is the hourly. You can see the rally we had today went to the 50% retracement. Let's see if it made the 382 off of the big high right back here. And it didn't make that. So it's backing off, but it's trying to make a bottom. In fact, this is one I'm going to be watching real closely here because there's our old bottom back in here. You can see there's where we were. So if we can – let's do this on an hourly, boys and girls, and we can look at it. This is coming up for next week. So there's where we are. We had the 78% race retracement. We came up, and that tells us, folks, we've taken out this low. What are we looking for? We're going to be looking for new lows again. Okay, and taking out this low, that's what you want to see. You're going to have another one right behind it. So this will be uh, time to pay attention to the numbers that start popping up. Let's see how far they are away from each other. Oh, there's the 1.618 expansion way down here at 29. That's only 30 cents. It could make that easily. New lows take you to 39. That's down about 20 cents. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my alert in here so that when we start to make new lows, I would like to uh, like to be a buyer because uh, I think that's good. I I was going to sell this rally today, but I got so darn busy that I didn't do it. I did do the soybean one because that was that was the simplest one to see, and that is in fact doing the same thing that uh, that we have going on here right now. You can see there was a 382 off of this, and we had already taken out the low here, folks, and we had a pretty nice rally, rallied nine cents. So that tells you that somebody's looking for a buy down in here, but so far. Nothing coming in yet, but it will be. So just be patient. Let's move on to for just a quick second here. And we want to take a look at um, someone's asked a question about Amazon because it's in the news about being beat up quite a bit. It doesn't look like it's being beat up today. It's up quite a bit here today. Uh, there's uh, our big move. Let's get the daily up so we can see it much easier because this is a uh, – there's our daily. Okay. Oh, boy. It's been a while since I looked at this. Let me refresh this. Okay, there. well, there was the gap down. Wow. And boy, that was a gap. Let's see if the old ABCD still works. Come on. Give me a break here. Let's just double check. People always complain about this darn pattern. I don't know. To me, I like it. Anyway, there's the AB leg right here. There's ABCD, correct? And we know when we have a gap like this, what do we do, boys and girls? We expand it to 1.27. And let's see what happened.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I have the chart of Amazon here. You can see uh, we had the big gap down. All I did was extend the ABCD by 1.27. And you can see it comes within a couple of dollars of the exact low. Now, we've rallied up. We're already above the 61% retracement of this high. And we're also above 50% of this high. So we're in a zone here where this should be really strong resistance right at this level, which is 82. That's another five points. If it gets any higher than 82, this is going to probably go up and make a new high. Because you got double numbers here. you got a 78% level, of course, of this level right here. And you've got a big one off of this one right here. If we get above this level, let's just put this in here in case you're in the stock, 184. Because if it gets above 184, uh, it could have a clear run to the move here. Because you look at this on a long term, this is a big ABCD. Took a month to form, and that could be a monster bottom in here. Let's just move it over a little bit, see if it was a 382 at that time. Maybe we can find it. Let's just move it over just a little bit. I don't think it was, but let's just try just for kicks and giggles. Here's where we were here. No, well, I don't think it was. Well, here's the last low way back here. So let's just double check it here and see if it's right. There's your low. <laughs> Look at that number, boys. 155, 155.31. 382 is having fun. Put that placard up on the desk there, Mr. Johnny, anyway, this is it where we're looking at here today. So I want you folks to live every day in an attitude of gratitude. And may God bless. 
And I have 53 seconds left, and I'm going to go and take a look at one other commodity that we've been watching for a while, and that is uh, copper. And uh, we'll see where we are here with the copper is right there. And we should be in a rally mode, which we are. And there you can see here we had a ABCD to the downside here this morning. There it was, ABCD to the downside. Now we're rallying up. If we look at the daily, it's still a little lower, but it looks like it's bouncing. This is what we're watching right here, folks. We'll see you on the flip side on Monday, folks, and may God bless.